Okay, this is Darren here from Fish Donkey, and I'm just going to take some photos here. I'm going to give you some helpful tips on getting your photos and videos to go through at the end of a tournament. As you can see, I'm going to take at least 10 photos here. I'm taking a lot of photos, and let's see if that's going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, that's fine. So I'm going to start here. It's 6.08. All right. So once I hit submit, you'll see I am in the upper right hand corner. You see a little airplane. I am simulating a zero internet connection. I do not have an internet connection right now. I am in airplane mode. Okay. And so I'm just going to fish all day. I'm going to enter my fish. Enter one more here. Let's make this one 6.09. Okay, submit. Now, when I get back at the end of the day and I go to my digital live well, that's what I want to do to check to make sure my photos and videos go through. Now, you have to do this if you've been in an area with no internet. Android phones, they'll pretty much run automatically. Android lets you run in the background, and so we do that all the time. Um, but right here, in internet mode, my phone is looking looking for a signal. It can't find one. It says waiting to sync. Okay. And so I've got these two. Uh, they're trying to go through. Sometimes you get a, a partial connection after a while. So right now, so it's starting to send. Let's say, oh no, you know, I lost it. Went back into airplane mode. I lost my connection. Ah, um, geez, I'm stuck. It says media not received. So here's some tips. The more photos you take, the longer it's going to take to send these photos in. Your network speed matters a lot. It's not your download speed. It doesn't matter if you're on Wi-Fi. What matters is what is your upload speed and how many photos and videos are you trying to send. It can take a considerable amount of time. What you need to do is go to your digital live well and just wait and let these photos go through and they will go through. Um, don't continually go in and hit resubmit. That starts the process over and it can take even longer. So don't resubmit. Uh, you can reboot your phone if you feel that's necessary. I don't recommend it. You don't need to do it. What you really need to do is wait. Don't do anything too crazy. Don't uninstall the app. That will cause you to lose your entries and your photos. Uh, don't log out. Don't log out of the app. The app is also going to warn you not to log out. Don't do that. Your, your photos won't go through. Don't alter the photos. Your tournament director will get a message that shows that your photos, if like say you decided to clip them a little different or even just change the shading or the lighting, it doesn't like anti-cheating software. It does not like that. It's going to tell your tournament director that those are no longer original photos and your photos are likely to be denied. Uh, the other thing that can probably west mess you up is if you run out of memory. So if you fill your phone up with a bunch of videos and podcasts, before you go out fishing, then when you're out fishing, you might not have enough memory left to store all your photos and videos from your tournament and send them in. And we see that about two times a month. People call us, can't get their photos to go through. And the whole problem is that they don't have enough of, uh, you don't have enough memory to get everything to go through. <clears throat> there is one more thing that you don't want to do, and that is don't delete your photos. Because if you delete your photos before they're sent in and, and received here, the app can't find them. And you can actually restore those photos. Uh, you could search Google search, um, look for restore Android photos or something like that. And you can go into your trash and restore those. And if you do it, they will go through. But just don't delete them. You don't want to risk losing uh, your entries. So I'm going to now take my phone, uh, take it back out of airplane mode. And... Here we go. It's going to start trying to send in again. I'm just going to take a quick look at my Wi-Fi network also. So I'm going to turn it on, make sure I'm on a good network here uh, so it doesn't take us forever. And I'm going to, this is my slowest connection, this Moto G5. It's an old cell phone working off a hotspot so we'll do that so you can see what it looks like so it says sending we do not have a good signal now we have a very slow signal even though it's I have a good signal to my Moto G well the first one went through 
and you just need to wait. It's sending, as long as it says sending, 100% of the time, these photos are going to go through. It won't take much longer here. And even though there were a considerable number of photos, we'll eventually get them to go through. Just gonna go over here so we get a little bit better connection to finish this video. And this is a good example. You just have to be patient and wait. And there we have it. Everything has been received. Okay, so do that. The next time uh, you have a tournament, go to your digital live well after the tournament. Every day, don't get a whole pile of videos and photos in there that need to be sent. Just go in every day at the end of the tournament, at the end of the day when you get back on Wi-Fi, and make sure all your photos go through, and you'll have good luck. So, have fun fishing and enjoy your tournament.